you need to fit your camera first to the gimbal then switch it on for the first time and having it sitting on a couple of blocks so as it's got clearance the gimbal will try to find its horizontal so what you do is you adjust these two screws with the supplied plastic screwdriver that will set your pitch so as it's pointing straight ahead and the roll so as it's horizontal so you set them first to get it stable so you can just apply power to the actual gimbal and set it then once you have set it you need then to go into the software because if you plug it into the quad the actual gimbal will rotate far around to the back that is because you need to adjust the settings for the travel on the transmitter and also the switch on the gimbal tab of the software then when you have done that you can then fine tune the gimbal so it's horizontal and a vertical these are the standard landing skids and as you can see there is not much clearance in fact you could say zero clearance between the bottom of the gimbal GoPro mounting frame and the ground and that's not even taking into consideration the movement in the isolation rubber mounts so if you did lower the gimbal plate using spaces you definitely have to have extra clearance on the leg so you can also just put spacer in the legs as well but it's a lot cheaper buying replacement extension legs this shot from the rear shows you how much clearance there is I'll just tilt it down so when it comes down sitting just lifting it up so that's a travel there hitting the ground at that angle and there's a lens hitting that angle that's the angle before it hits again so as you see you do need the extended legs because this needs to be in the horizontal position when it starts up to know it's in the horizontal position thanks for watching